Okay, uh, what I'm going to be demonstrating is I've got a soft phone client on the left here. Um, you can see I'm shaking it here. And I just knocked out my Wireshark. Um, so what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, a voice over IP call to uh, a client, uh, my laptop on the same network. Um, and what I'm going to do is, is capture those packets with Wireshark and I will capture the SIP, uh, Session in Initiation Protocol packets, and the RTP packets, which is a a protocol that SIP uses, and I think it's used by many other protocols out there. Um, and it uses it, it packages your voice and and, and sends it along. Um, so we're going to capture both of those packets. And uh, originally, when I began this project, I thought for sure I would need something like Backtrack um, to be able to do this. But Wireshark has uh, voice over IP pen testing tools built into it, uh, which I did not know. Um, so if you hit telephone, you can scroll down to voice over IP calls. As you can see, there's a little icon there for that. And we're going to use that in just a little bit here. Um, so before I initiate the call, I need to filter uh, which packets we're going to look at. So SIP or RTP. And hit save. Oh, I don't want to save, I want to hit apply. Um, and then go into uh, capture interfaces select the network interface card you're gonna capture those packets on um, so you can see right now I don't have any of these uh, SIP or RTP packets I'm traversing the network um, so let's go over and initiate this call um, so let's just pick the only person I've called <coughs> so as you can see immediately um, you get the invite request sent from this client and you get the ac acknowledge um, from from the uh, Linphone SIP client on uh, my laptop. And what it's waiting for now is a acknowledge um, so it can begin the session or open the session. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to um, initiate the call by answering it from the laptop. So the call has now been answered. And as soon as I begin talking, you can see these RTP packets being generated, and those RTP packets are um, capturing my voice and sending them along the network um, rapidly, as you can see. Um, so up here at the top, to begin this, we have this acknowledge. That was the acknowledge that actually began the call. So when I scroll down to the bottom here, I'm going to end this call now, and everything I'm saying is being captured, of course. So let's end the call. And we can see I have the buy request here, so uh, that ends the call in the um, session initiation protocol, the SIP protocol, that's what ends uh, the call. So similar to TCP IP again, as I mentioned earlier, um, this will uh, end the call. It's, it's very similar to the handshake process of TCP IP. So now that we've done that, we've got these captures, or these packets captured, um, the, se the session's over. Um, so what you can do is um, just select any random RTP um, packet and we're going to go up to telephony and we're going to select the voice over IP um, tool or pen testing tool and you can see it's now detected the one call that we've just made we'll hit select and then hit player and we're going to want to decode this okay so now you can see we've got a media player um, style um, look here and what you will do is just select an area where you want to start listening so let's hit play so the call has not been answered I don't know if you can hear that but it's playing back right now I begin talking you can see these RTP packets being generated and those RTP packets are um, capturing my voice and sending them along the network um, rapidly as you can see Okay, so we can end that. So you can see what the purpose is there, and um, again, it's very easy to do. I mean, you just saw how easy that was. Just about anybody could do that. Um, but the thing is, is I wouldn't say that um, voice over IP, just the standard SIP protocol, advertises itself as being secure. Um, but they don't advertise that it's this unsecure, in that uh, all of your calls can be easily monitored by anybody.